Welcome everyone, Reborn Wolf here, and today I'm going to give you a quick run through of the new Federation tech armor. So, brand new to the game, it came out with Arc Genesis Part 2. A lot of people haven't used tech before, so they don't really understand how to use this new equipment. So, a couple quick things to know. It does not require any element to use, so that's different from the old tech gear. You don't need any element at all. The armor on it is a lot weaker than the old tech gear though, so you got to keep that in mind. So going through the first parts, we'll just go from head to toe. The first up is the helmet. So the helmet allows you to completely breathe underwater, and it also has a couple of vision modes. So to activate the vision modes on PC, you hold down the R button. Once you hold it down long enough, it'll give you the option to cycle your helmet visor. So that basically switches between um, having it off, having it go to night vision, or having it go to pulse vision. The other option here is target helmet visor that just turns it on and off completely so if you like night vision the best you could set it to that and then just turn it on and off with this instead of cycling through all of them but to give you an example here this looks like a uh, pulse mode so if we have dinosaurs in range you'll see they start getting outlined and you can actually use this oh see perfect you can see them in the water and if there's things that are behind structures you kind of see this guy's behind trees and it highlights him even though he's behind the trees so that is that mode we hold it down again it should take us i believe to night vision yep here we go so we don't need it right now because we're in the middle of the day but this is the night vision hold it down again it takes us to a combination of both so this is night vision and pulse and then we can always just go ahead and toggle this off directly right here and it just turns it off altogether. and you hold it down again it turns it right back to the last mode you had it on which is night vision and pulse mode so we'll go ahead and turn that off for now and we'll show you really quickly, we'll jump into the water here. And you see we have our little oxygen bar there, but it's not going to go down because we have the tech helmet on. If we take the tech helmet off, now you can see that oxygen start to tick down and we're losing, losing that oxygen. Throw that back on, and now we're good. So that is the tech helmet. The next important piece going down the line is going to be the tech chest plate. And it tells you right here, it's highly, highly advanced with the integrated jetpack. So to activate the jetpack, hold down spacebar, you're going to start flying up. If you tap spacebar, you'll do a quick boost. Now if you want to hover in place, because you're tired, you don't want to keep going up, you got just the right angle you want to be at, what you're going to do is just hold down the shift button. You can completely let go of spacebar. Now you're going to be floating in place like this. And you can still move around in this mode. If you use your directional keys, you can slowly float around at that same altitude. And it's great because, as you see here, you can still pull out your weapon, and I actually tamed on my stream earlier, I tamed a T-Rex just by flying around like this and shooting it with Trank Arrows. So it's great, it keeps everything out of range, and it honestly feels a little cheaty, but it works. Um, another thing you can do with this tech jet uh, pack actually ties into the legs. So when you have the uh, legs on, which will be the next part we're going to be looking at. It doesn't tell you in the description, but it allows you to run super, super fast. And you'll blow through, like, obstacles and stuff while you're running, too. So, example here. Bam, we just blew right through those rocks, ran super fast. And to activate this, you just hold down control. You don't even need to push down a directional button or anything. You just hold down left control. You'll run super fast. If there's small dinosaurs in the way, it's going to run right through them. Also, while doing this, you can run on water. So if you hold down left control, aim towards a body of water, you're going to just run right across that body of water. Now another thing too, with the jetpack, I did forget about that, is getting back into the water. If you hold down shift, you'll do a super jetpack underwater. So this is amazing for getting around. You can outrun threats like the megalodons and stuff like that just by using this jetpack underwater. Plus you can breathe underwater, so with the helmet... So that is super neat, and honestly feels a little bit cheaty. Now another thing with the legs are important for is with the jetpack combination. You might notice this feels kind of slow, right? You're just slowly moving forward, not very fast. However, if you're still holding down that shift button to use this hover and a directional arrow, whichever way you're pointing, as long as you hold down directional button, in this case W, and left shift, then you hold down left control at the same time, you're going to start rocketing forward super fast, and that's because of the leg plates working with the jetpack. Now, when you're in this mode, if you hold down spacebar, you'll also start to slowly elevate as you're going up. So you could still ascend while you're doing it. If we let go, 
we're going to drop. Hold down shift, and we still got some of that momentum, and we'll keep going in that direction. If we want to change directions, we simply face angle ourselves to which direction we want to go. Hold down the uh, directional arrow, or directional button, which is W, shift, and left control, and bam, now we're zooming forward again. Now, the next piece of equipment we're going to talk about is the gloves, or the gauntlets. So we're going to get over here to this little spot so we can land. Now, for the gauntlets, you'll see it doesn't give you any information on it, but it does allow you to do a super punch, and this was nerfed, unfortunately. On day one, when you did this super punch, it would break apart the rocks and mine them, so you could mine trees, wood, metal nodes, all kinds of stuff just by punching it. And it did a significant bit of damage against dinosaurs. To activate it, you hold down the right mouse button, point in whichever direction you want to head towards. You can even go straight up in the air. Your character is going to launch up in the air and do a punch with it. And like I said, this was nerfed because it used just two days ago, two, three days ago, it did a bunch of damage when you actually targeted creatures with it. Doesn't do that anymore. So you can see that didn't do anything to him. And he just stole my simple shotgun. <laughs> oh, what a, what a punk. All right, let's get that back. Okay, we're going to get get our shotgun ammo back. Just ruining our video here. All right, so that's the punch for the gauntlets. Again, it's not super amazing. It used to be a lot better, but you could still use it as a quick way to get around. Let's say you don't have your jetpack on or something happened. You can still use that to kind of jump around real quick. The last thing we're going to talk about for the Tech Federation suit the boots so the boots aren't super amazing but if you read it here it says highly advanced boots capable of absorbing the impact from falling damage from high distances so that's really helpful with this jetpack because you can see we'll go way up in the air here and normally a fall like this would kill a survivor however with the boots on you'll just see it makes a little kind of cool blue impact perfectly safe my health didn't go down at all now another feature it doesn't say this directly on the boots but for an example, we'll take them off. And this is a really steep hill, right? Let's see if we can get up it without the boots on. No, it looks like we're hitting an invisible wall here. We could use the jetpack a little bit, but it won't let us go up. Now, if we put the boots back on, look at that. They glow like that because they're allowing us, they're like gripping onto the surface. And you can hear that extra little audio they do. So you can walk up really, really steep surfaces when you have these boots on. So another little unique benefit that it didn't say in there. One last thing we want to talk about is when you have the entire suit on it does give you a little bit of a bonus so if you look at my armor my insulation hypothermic insulation it's all at zero right now if we put the full suit on let it sit for a second now we have 100 armor 61 hypothermic insulation and nine hyperthermal insulation so it's not amazing. It's not the same as what the old tech suit was. The old tech suit, if you had it powered up, it would give you, I believe, 200 for each. But it still is nice to have a little bit of a boost in there. And a total of 100 armor, which isn't the greatest, but it gives you a little bit of protection. But it is a trade-off because some of the other armor you have is going to give you way more protection from dinosaurs. But you're not going to be able to fly up in the air. Me personally, I think I'll be using this Federation tech suit all the way through. Just because if you run into any threat, you can just hop up in the air. And now they can't get you. Or if you have something that's flyable chasing after you, if you hold down that control button and shift facing forward, you're going to do this super fly right here. And as long as you're super flying, I don't think there's anything in the game that could catch up to you except possibly other survivors. So that was just a quick run through of what the Federation tech suit has to offer. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it. And again, it doesn't take any durability damage. So if you get smacked around, if you die, you don't have to worry about repairing it. It is really like one of the best armors you could get in the game. And it's super, super cool that they gave it to us right at the start. As always, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want to see something else. We'll catch you out there next time.